I have nothing fucking to do. Ninja games. I have nothing to do. Yes, we have something to do. Let's play now. Yes, I was waiting for you. I told you. Come sit in the game once you're. Well, come sit on the floor once you're done window shopping. Okay. I, I start the anime. <laughs> anyway. Ah. Don't want, don't want to watch an anime. Play the game. Anyway, shut the fuck up while I do the intro. Hello everyone, I'm Remix, and and along with me is gonna be uh, the one and only Journal D Idiot. Remember him? No, my my channel is dead. <laughs> uh, yep, that's very true. Today we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is a podcast, so hopefully everyone enjoys it. I want to record this so that we can watch it back every now and then. I, I believe me and Journal have gotten good enough in role-playing games that we can start podcasting them, and at the very le least, we can watch these podcasts again and everyone will and, and look back so that we'll never forget our best moments in D&D. &D. So, we're playing D&D. &D. What's the campaign There's called? me. What's the podcast's name called? Dungeons and Dragons. And what's the campaign? Kafka's Bizarre Adventure. All right. So we have ourselves a guest, a guest host, Monica. Say hi, Monica. Thanks, Monica. <laughs> Play the sad music. All right. So this is a podcast for a reason. Uh, you don't have to worry. I won't fudge my dice. Well, sometimes I'll fudge them, but uh, but we'll tell you the results of our dice anyway. And we won't be using a battle a battle mat since this is a one on one campaign. Which, by the way, I am Remix the idiot, and I shall be the dungeon master for today's campaign. I don't. I still don't know if I'll be uploading a part two of this. And obviously, Journal is going to be a player. A single player and a single dungeon master. How's that for unique and original? Nobody does nobody does one on one campaigns. So yeah, our our podcast is unique and people can watch us for that reason alone. One on one campaign? Yeah, that's what they're called. When you only have two people? Yeah, because it's just two people having an intimate game together. Alright, so let me give you guys the story pitch. Long, long ago, the land of Va Vast Donia, definitely not Castlevania, <laughs> was terrorized by menacing creatures of the night known as vampires. These humanoid creatures roam the night and feed on the blood of all animals. The farm animals, the men, women, and children, none were spared by their nightly terrors. One day, a man who owned a special power to fight vampires rose up to fight this evil. The fight lasted for generations, the secret technique being passed on to the legendary bloodline. In the end, the last of the family decided to put an end to this war by teaching the common folk the weaknesses of vampires. They can finally live without fear of blood-sucking demons. From that point onwards, people would follow a tradition stemming from their knowledge shared by the last of the hero bloodline. Thought though its origin and purpose unknown and forgotten. The people followed these traditions and lived peaceful and prosperable lives. Moving to the present, technology, science, and magic are advancing. People are beginning to question their traditions. Enter our main character, an only child from a small and poor farmer family. A new person is adopted to the family and changes the world forever. Is that so a then, Jojo reference? They just say the world! That's like when there's a flower with a face and it talks, it's immediately an Undertale reference. Like fucking hell. <laughs> anyway, so then, Journal, would you introduce us your character? Tell us his name and what he's like. By the way, uh, the character sheet will be, if you guys are interested in seeing character sheets, stat blocks, and whatnot, I will be showing them. Since this is a YouTube video after all. His name is Joey. I, 
thought this was no. Huh? No, I want to be Jojo. Find them. Joey, it's a created name. I made our own name. This is Jojo's bizarre adventure now again. Yay! No, the the name of the campaign now is not Jojo's bizarre adventure. Yeah. All right, please write the the fucking name. You never wrote a name, huh? Yeah. First name and last name, if possible. Okay. Ta da So we have Joey. And is this Joey? Joey Johnson. Johnson, okay. Go write it. What type of what kind of person is Joey Johnson? He has a twelve in strength and an eight in what did you put an eight on again? On wisdom. Alright. So what is he? Like He's a human, has duh, a face, duh, has eyes, duh, has ma had mouth, has, has ears, have a body. Gosh, if the per can you tell us his personality? Oh, personality. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we'll evolve. He's a gangster. As he go. All right, I'll I'll go with that. All right. Uh, in terms of appearance, in terms of appearance, we we want fan art. So give us an appearance. What is his height? What is his weight? His his height is not one hundred ninety five centimeters. Well, he's a child right now. He's currently attending at senior high. He is grade twelve. Then if I'm baby, I have more than three hundred bones in my body, right? It's more than three hundred or a hundred. Your your character is in grade twelve. Oh, grade twelve. Oh, oh. So he's somewhere around seventeen to twenty years of age. Ha! Huh? Seventeen to twenty years of age. Seventeen. Or do you want to be younger? Seventeen. One seven. Oh, oh, okay. Seventeen to twenty. What the frick? <laughs> Then he's 18. He's a delinquent student. He's a delinquent. 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 Deli That's not <laughs> even a word. <laughs> Got him. That's not even a word. Anyway, appearance so that people can draw fan art. Hair color, hairstyle. Hairstyle. Yes. Long hair. Long flowing hair reaching up to how long? Up to his butt, up to his upper, up to his torso. Oh, oh we were describing your uh, appearance. I was about to defeat my uh, the final boss, BBEG, big ba big ba BBEG, big ba evil guy, right? Whatever. So we were describing describe it. Describe your appearance. Hair. Hair. Long Hairstyle. Hair. You had long hair. How long? Up to here, into my neck. I forgot. No, that's this not long podcast. hair at all. Long, short hair. I don't get it. Hairstyle. Name of the style. Name of the style. I don't know. Mohawk. Barber. African. Is that even a hairstyle? <laughs> <laughs> long hair. It's just but, long hair. Rock. The the hair that use. Rock band. Uh, punk punk rock hair. Alright. There you go. Then what about the hair color? The hair color is just black. Alright. What about his face? How's his shape? How's the shape of the face? The nose. The nose? Shape like a rectangular? Sure, okay. Rectangular nose. And face? Face has two eyes, has a mouth, has Hitler mustache. Oh, okay. Chin shape. The shape of the shin, of his chin. Uh huh. How is the ch shape of his chin? Is it the standard anime pointy shit that can literally stab people? The smooth one. All right. So he has a round face with a rectangular nose, black punk rock hair. What about his eyes? His eyes, he has blue, uh, uh, blue, blue eyes. eyes. Blue eyes, white dragon. Alright. No, he has blue and red 
I. Alright. Finally, how's his body build? Height and weight. I would say the height. The height is now 195 centimeters. And the body, you mean right? Mm -hmm. Have you seen a big muscular? Like The Rock. Do you know The Rock? Alright. The celebrity, that's, The that's, Rock. Yes, that's everything I need to know then. He has the body type. He, he A 17 year old fucking bitch has that kind of body. Holy shit, man. 18. Uh, 18. That sounds sexual. You know why? That is one burly. That is one burly eighteen-year-old. All right. So with that out of the way, let's begin the story. Our game takes place in the small town of called Mario, called Night Sky. It is a nice and peaceful town, located in a forest, isolated away from the hustle and bustle of the capital. It is a small it is a small town that houses only the essentials. Their main trade is their crops. The village houses a guild, so adventurers can escort the farmers to the capital, where they can sell their crops and earn their daily living. So that's basically Night Sky. Small town. There's few houses. There's an adventurers guild. But that's about it. You, however, you are not, you are not an adventurer. At least, not yet. You I are a human. You are Joey Johnson. You live in a small, in a small, in a small farmhouse. You have a single mother with no father, and you work hard at the farm. You, your mother works hard at the farm, and you guys live a nice and pe simple and peaceful uh, farming life, where you guys don't have a whole lot of mon cash money. With that being said, it is the night time, and as you guys prepare for bed, mother asks you the question, the usual question that she gives daily every night before you go to bed honey can you help me set up the vampire traps for tonight as well no go away such a bitch excuse me young man you've always been like this you have so much time in your night anyway you you'd barely have any assignments and you, you always ignore your assignments i mean if you're not gonna do your assignments then at least Help me I do my that. assignments in school. Then at least help me do the daily I tradition before... I call homework, schoolwork. I am pointing at the microphone. <laughs> I cannot tolerate... Uh, I cannot tolerate you any further. Are we further. rich? Are Go we to rich? Your, I said you guys are poor farmers. Oh, poor farmers. Go to your room this instant and go to bed right now. I thought I am in my room. I thought I was sleeping in my bed. You guys are in the living room. I, your mother was asking you to help set up with the vampire traps. Fine. Wait, vampire six in here? Hmm. Oh. You know... That, that I wanna, I ask myself that question sometimes too. Why do we set up, why do we do this tradition of setting up vampire traps, putting garlic and rice Because our ancestors are such a bitches. Did you really think vampires used to exist back in the day? What do you think would happen if we stopped this tradition? Well, better safe than sorry. Plus, tradition is tradition. You can't argue with that. Can I go to my room now? So you're not gonna help me set up the vampire traps? No. Very well. Go to your room now before I ground you. Ground. I go to the upstairs and I go to my room. And I go to my bed. And Narrator voice time. This is the natural. This is, is the tradition in all of Vastdonia. Not just in this. Not just in the town of Night Sky. Even the capital follows this tradition. Thoroughly and straightfully and fully. A tradition that passed down from generations. Placing garlic on the windows. Why are the weaknesses of vampires again? Uh, There's garlic. Garlic. The sun. Yeah, the sun. A stake. A stake right next to the door, just in case. 
rice poured inside the, hol- the house. Holy water, I mean. <laughs> holy water purifying the walls, the ex- the interior of the house. These are natural. And pandai sword. These are the natural weaknesses of vampires, and people follow this tradition without question. And how? But recently. People have begun, have recently started questioning this tradition ever since science, technology, and magic started to progress. Where people have recently discovered magics such as level 9 spells, such as power word kill, and techno- and, and impressive technology such as flint locks and bombs. Was that snackled again with the garlic? Snack boy? I think that's a P- Filipino uh, family snack. food, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't like that. Uh, Pinoy something. Mm-hmm. Oh, N- Manoy Totoy? No, 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 no. It's a Pinoy snack, guys. However, jo- Joey is a delinquent and never follows this tradition. He doesn't question it, but he doesn't care less either. All he knows is that tomorrow is going to be another boring day in school for him. But thankfully, tomorrow is Friday. Cock rock! <laughs> there we go, thank you for that. It is once again the morning. <laughs> One second in the morning? It is now the morning, once again. Oh, once, I thought you said one second in the morning. Joey, Jojo, who wake up? You have to go to school or you'll be late. I get up. Yep, you get up. Mm-hmm. As usual, Jojo, which is the nickname given to him by his close relative and friends, Jojo, for his full short for his full name, Joey Johnson. He eats. He takes his breakfast. Eats it on his way to school as usual, for once again he is late, running as fast as he can, as usual, because he's late, as usual, and going to school. Thank God, it is Friday. <coughs> Finally, we are at school. Jo- Joey, as usual, has fallen asleep in this class, and, as- and the teacher takes notice. For this, the last period, the history teacher is quite strict. A, a chalk is tossed straight into Jo into Jojo, hitting him right in his noggin, where he is. Noggin? Deep. Yeah. What's the noggin? Oh. He wakes up, and the history teacher scolds Jojo. Joe, Joey, you are sleeping once again. If you do not pay attention, you will get another low grade on your exam. Hi, sir. All right. Anyway, pay close attention. This is important history, people. No one cares about history. Today I will be for today for today I am discussing about vampires, the origins of vampires. Do you like history? Mm. Oh, are, are we talking out of character? Out of character. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of interesting, I guess. I do like history. As long as... It, it all depends on who's telling the history. If you're just reading it from a boring old book telling you the facts, then it's quite boring. But it's but if you're listening to some, say, extra history from extra credits, it's quite fun. I do like history. Oh, this, uh, I do like my... Alright, today we are talking about vampires. A student raises her hand. But, sir... Vampires aren't real. This tradition is... We just do the tradition for it, right? Hmm. Fair question, but we do traditions for a reason. They came from something, right? Long ago, there was a, ge- there was a fight between man and vampires that lasted for a generation. A secret technique that was, said to, fight- <laughs> that was said to fight the vampires. An ancient family rose up to fight this for generations. It went on like so until finally they wanted to end the fight. So they taught everyone how to do this tradition. And that is why we do this tradition. Now then, 
The weaknesses of vampires are simple. According to what we know and what is written, they are weak to the sunlight, which is why they only stalk their prey in the night. During the day, they rest in their hidden caves where they dwell. They have dark vision as a result. They are also weak to pure things such as religious artifacts. Holy waters and holy symbols will do just fine as well. But they are also weak to garlic and fried rice. Spray them all around your house and you will be safe and away. But despite their many weaknesses, this does not, no matter how many weaknesses they have, vampires are still incredibly dangerous creatures. Away from these weaknesses, vampires are terrible creatures. They have the ability to shapeshift into wolves and bats and... Into wolves? Yeah. Is that even a thing? I heard, I, I thought, in some, in some fiction I've read, they do turn into wolves. I thought they only turn to a bat, but never mind. They can turn themselves into shroud of mist to walk through walls. And, and, the, and most importantly, can walk through walls now. their daily diets consist of blood. Their favorite being human. What kind of blood? Human? Cow? Pig? Chicken? Mammal. Ma mammal. Blood. The blood of mammals are their favorite. Are their favorite. What's mammal? The animal mammal. But the favorite. The, but their favorite mammals are known as humans, aka us. Other mammals such as dogs. Oh, that's and what a mammal is. Are okay too, but they'll eat anything, any type of animal's blood. They are strictly carnivorous in a sense, for they do not drink plant blood. For plants do not have blood. I think. No wonder they want Jesus dead. <laughs> <laughs> the best ring bell in the school. Well, it's lunch time. Do do do. Well, every well, class is dismissed. This is your la this is the last subject, and it's Friday, so I hope everyone has a nice day in the field today, kids. Oh, weekends are supposed to be fun. The capitals have it way better. They don't have to perform farm crops and jobs during the weekends. Instead, they get to play games. I'm so jealous. Oh well. I have to go, otherwise we won't have money or anything to eat. Bye, girl. Finally, I can be a super secret hero that defeats vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, excited, hurriedly, hurriedly goes back. To become a Spider-Man. <laughs> goes out of school and heads straight outside of school. Another tradition. Only in, there's, there's, only in the town there's of There's only day 20. Yeah. Oh. The children during the weekends help their par help their far parents out in the field so that they can sell their crops and work out their jobs more efficiently. However, Jojo is quite the delinquent during the weekends. He hangs out with a couple select friends who are also equally delinquent like him and goes out to do delinquent stuff. Ignoring his job as the far in the farm as usual. However, today is a little different. On his way out of the school, running excitedly and hurriedly, he bumps into someone. He's a definitely a vampire. Thump. He's definitely a vampire. <laughs> a loud thump. Enjoy. Uh, do you fall down or do you just flinch? And get knocked a little by the th by the. I was the running, first. right? Yeah. And I was. Mm, I was if, just like, like this. If you want, we can roll for it. Let's roll for it. All right. Make make a Constitution check. There's no pluses. I rolled eleven plus. Uh, there's no pluses. All right. So, you you bounce back, Bouncing. flinched a little bit, and a little surprised, but otherwise you didn't fall down. Shadowing over you as you see as you see the person that bumped you, 
are the sha are the large shadowy figures of three men, burly men. One having a huge blonde afro, the other bald, holding a knife, and the other wearing glasses. You hear the murmurs and whispers of, of the other students nearby. Oh no, Jojo's a to Joey's a total goner. Those are the local. Those three are the local bullies, and it seems like he and it seems like Joey's their next victim. He's toast. He's gonna steal their his entire savings, aren't they're gonna steal their entire savings, aren't you they? You see a knife? Yes. It, this 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 school even allows knives? Heh, all you need is some is some great intimidation and some nice places to hide your little old my little old knife. Anyway Ice Cream will say, Shut up Oh you talking back at us? Do you know who we are? We are Jack, Ripper, and Tomboy. We are the local bullies of this school. And if you don't cuff off all of your money right now, all of your lunch money right now, you're gonna get shanked, I say. Shanked. Shanked? Why shaking his own hand? No, he's just slapping it. You know, slapping. Alright, then I... Oh, then I say, shut up, I'm in a hurry, and I'm your senior, because I'm a 12 year, first year, second year, third year, what's it called, when you're, you're in grade third? 12, so your second year. Second year? Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're third years then. Hmm? Are they my s seniors, or? I don't know. They're your, they're your superior to them. You're older than them. Oh, I'm older than them. Mm. Oh, talking back just because you're older. But guess what? You're not half as taller. Then I'm gonna punch him. He skipped over so I can punch him. Oh, you're looking for a fight, Arya. Then bring him up. I wanna see how someone like you can even put up a fight against us. Oh, God. The Jojo's trying to fight the bullies. Oh God, let's watch this. I got, I got, I gotta see all this. All right, immediately. He me, he me, he me. <laughs> Ripper, tomboy, stand down. I'll take care of him personally and teach him a lesson. Let me show you why you don't mess with the punks. <laughs> the one. <laughs> We're ready for the music. Oscar, there's three, and I'm gonna put the Peter Man team. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, as I was saying, Tomboy, Ripper, stand down. I'll do this on my own. Little man, Jojo. Is that what they call you? Let me show you why you don't mess with the bullies. Bring why are they level to bring level 999? Both of you circle around at each other. Your your fists raised and the crowd and the crowd behind no. you watching. I did this to my belt. You're I, wearing a belt? Yeah. Then I take it off as my weapon. Oh, all right. Immediately, however, you raise your. Oh, hold on. Let's roll initiative. Dexterity, baby. Dang it. 13. I rolled a seven. All right. You go first. You take off your belt and turn it into an improvised weapon. Your bre Your short. Your shorts fall off. What happened? Am I this the three bad guys? And I'm in here. You guys are both within melee range. There's a crowd. There's a crowd, so you can't go further than thirty feet away because the mm -hmm. crowd is blocking your all exits. Not to mention the Ripper and Tomboy are also part of the crowd, so and they definitely which one's the shorter? Hmm? Tomboy is the shortest out of all of them, but he's still tall. But he's still taller than so you. So he's in my left, in the right, or my front view. You guys, you guys, you and Jack are both circling around each other as of right now. So it's your their position is constantly circling around. Circling around. I need the graph. I don't know what's happening. 
you guys are doing this. Oh, we're doing that. Oh, yeah. You guys are in an intense foot in fighting game oh, terms oh. known as footsies. Oh, footsies, huh? Then I, I do this to my belt. You raise your belt and immediately swing it like a whip. Roll the hit. Now I like open. Now it I remember. Is a strength check. Now I remember open legends rules instead of D and D. Thanks to you. I forgot to tell you, we're playing D and D, not open legends. Sixteen. This is a sixteen, right? Uh, re re-roll it. God damn it! A two. Plus Can I have lucky? You have you have fourteen of those uh, dice that we you won back at the broker match. Remember? Four. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, would you like to use any of them? No. All right. You swing you 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 try to swing your your belt impro your improvised belt with. They're more but, taller than me. I'm not. I'm a hundred ninety-five centimeter. I know. You don't question it. They're bullies. <laughs> they're supposed to look scary. What? I'm a hundred ninety-five centimeters, and they're a hundred ninety-six centimeters. <laughs> but you miss your shot. As your pants fall off, as you take off your belt, and you proceed to fall down a little bit, causing you to miss your shot. Uh, Jack doesn't waste this opportunity and immediately goes for a low blow sweep kick right into your aiming straight for but your nuts. But my reaction time, I did this with my feet. Hey, you gotta kick me, right? Mm -hmm. I did this to my feet. All right. Uh, make an make an acrobatics check. So no pluses. Acrobatics is based on strength, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to write Yeah, it. yeah! No, it's dexterity based. Sure, can you write down can you write down the initial letters? Deja vu. Then what's the one that's that requires strength? Acro athletics. Oh yeah, athletics. I meant an athletics check, alright? Okay. Man, you're you're so lonely. Who's Bella? Athletics versus Athletics, your athletics versus his strength. Check. Okay. 13 plus 1. 14. Four. Right. Journal rolls a 14. I rolled a 12. He won the contest. You, you, you're his sweep kick. <laughs> I think you block, you, you block the swift, the sweep kick directly with your own knee. And now it is once again your turn. Jack is, Jack is caught off guard by by your sudden blocking of the attack, still holding your belt firmly. Okay. You look him in the eye. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Just what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, I can move now? Yes, it's your turn. Oh, this is a one on one, not a three on one. Oh. Yeah. I, th I didn't you pay attention to what Jack said. Boy, stand down, I'll take him myself. That was what he said. I thought, I thought like, stand down like, uh, like uh, uh, he's on the front and they're on the uh, the other ones on the back and the other ones on the side. Oh, I did. Oh yeah. By the way, that. I want you to look at your features and traits. Oh, hindi mo pa nasulat yung ano? No. So skills. Sulat mo muna. Just no, I don't want properly. to. Fine, I'll do it. All right. So acrobatics is dexterity. This is wisdom. This is intelligence. This is strength. Deception is charisma. History is intelligence. Insight is wisdom. Intimidation is charisma. Investigation is intelligence. Medicine is wisdom. Nature is also it, oh intelligence. Perception, wisdom, performance, charisma, persuasion, charisma, religion, intelligence, wisdom. Dexterity, stealth, dexterity, survival, wisdom. Booyah. Alright, look at your features real quick for me. Okay. Before making your move. I just want you to know them. Second is much for a rest because of three hit points. If HP hits zero and the second is still unused, recover two HP automatically. Natural fighter. At, add proficiency bonus to attack those. Of improvised weapons add this bonus to to damage of unarmed strike as well. What's natural fighter? Hmm? Your improvised weapon, your belt, has a plus three to hit. 
Oh. Because you add your proficiency bonus to it. So plus three, so plus four. Eh? Your strength, no, your strength is plus one, uh -huh. plus two for your proficiency, total to plus three. So plus three. Alright, are you gonna attack him with your belt again? Hmm? You're gonna attack him with your belt again, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I go to his back. Is there, a, is there a time to go on his back? Oh, this is a footsie. Yeah, you can, you can go back. You, 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 you grab, you grab, you guys are grappling each other and you have, and you're the one grappling. So you can easily move around him. So I move around him to his, his own, on his own back. While I'm doing that, um, the belt, I'm you're tying, gonna, you're gonna flex, oh. I'm tying on my hand while I'm going to his back. All right. You yeah. do a somersault straight into his back, all the while tying your, be your belt firmly around your arm, they or I did, around your hand. Then I did this. Choking him with my belt. Oh shit. And then you proceed to fucking Ch choke him. Uh -huh. Alright, make a strength check. Man, the indie rule is so easy. I only need to roll dice. I did 20. I roll a 5! Grapple rule state, I need to make Plus three, so a I save, have an a, eight. A strength saving throw. I have an eight. I have a seventeen. Oh. All right. You try to grab. You try to grapple him, but he wrestles it easily. As once again, your your hands are a little sloppy today. <laughs> your belt. You you didn't you didn't actually spin it all that well. So a such Give me that dice. I want that dice. That, that wasn't that wasn't all that good. He easily escapes. And. He's like, oh, I, oh man, you, you're really pissing me off now. And he proceeds to uh, crouch down oh. and, then ra and then rise up for an uppercut. But uh, can I use a uh, defense action? Is that, I can do you're, that in D&D, right? A uh, uh, defense action. A do you can make a dodge action, but it's an action that you do on your turn. Oh, this sucks. Your armor class is 10. Oh, I forgot I have armor. I have an armor of 19. No. <laughs> You're not wearing any armor. You just have your natural armor of your 10 plus I have my sailor uniform with um, Valda. An 11. <laughs> they have plus 2 to hit, so that's a 13. You take 2 hit points of damage. It lands straight to your jaw, and you and you fall and you flinch ever so slightly at the pain. Okay, he's on, he's on, he, he's on the ground while doing the this, yeah. right? He did so, the uppercut, and now he's like like wh this. While I'm doing that, I use my feet, foot to kick his head. All right, you make a hot you, using the momentum you gain from go, falling downwards. You you go for a kick. You go for a high kick right into his, his head. head, and he goes. Face, face, roll face. with a roll strength check with advantage on his face. Yeah, I mean, a ten, a three. All right, you can add. You have plus two to hit. You have plus three to hit. That's so a 30. thirteen. It hits, and you deal. You get plus two to your damage of of cut of unarmed strikes. Unarmed strikes do a fixed damage of one. 1 plus your strength plus your proficiency means you deal 4 point hit points of damage. So, plus 4. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. you deal 4 points of damage. Jack, Jack falls down, I mean, falls down swiftly and deftly straight to the ground. <laughs> he takes 4 hit points What's of damage. What's that? Ano itab doon? Ano? Kung, like, uh, you have advantage on itab doon? Kuwari, prone, right? D prone? Yeah. So prone Jack attack. falls prone. He's at net, he's at 0 hit points. Oh. Kung buhay po siya na siya, kikik ko siya sa chat niya eh, in his stomach. He falls, he falls down, he's like, dude, he's strong. And then he's So, like, he's still alive, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I did this to his stomach to right. make him unconscious. Oh, you kick him right in the stomach, no need to make any, he spurts out blood from, from the kick and he falls down unconscious immediately. And then the and then the children for and then the crowd gasps. <gasps>, <laughs> oh, oh, that's what gasps mean. Ripper and tomboy do not like this, and immediately they rush in towards you, in or in order to avenge Jack. They roll their initiative. A five. 
Was so my you're initiative still going? Hmm? Your oh, initiative me. is definitely higher than five. Yeah. You're going first. So they're rushing at you. Ripper, ha- Ripper's like holding his knife firmly, and Tomboy is like ready to hug you. Oh, they're running towards you. Ready uh, to hug in a knife. I need a strategy. Pause the game. <laughs> <laughs> like an anime. Thinking is a free action. <laughs> ding ding. So he tried to hug me, and the one trying to stab me with his knife. What do I do? So I take the damage and punch him in the face. No. You remember you holding it. You are holding in your right hand a belt. Um. Uh, is this Kwanli? If this school like have super abilities and stuff, I can use my ability to, to run away. But this is real life. With vampires! Is vampire a mythical creature? Yes. Oh. No. Oh. I try to crouch. Oh, so you just make a dodge action. Dodge action means uh-huh. you take half of uh, uh, half of all the damage you take. Hold on, let me consult the go- help, Let me consult the manual for this real quick. Chapter 6, no, wait, what chapter is combat again? Chapter 8, right? Alright. No, 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 I have an idea. Do this, please. What? Kuwari, ikaw yung ano, this, mm. that's the knife. I did this. Then, uh, I did this. Then, after doing that, pinalikod ko siya. Putting him on the ground. Grap, so basically you're gonna go for a grapple. Yeah. I don't know when it's fighting style, but I know what it looks like. Yeah. It's a gra- it's a grapple, that's all you need to know. And so grappling means you just gotta roll strength, I think. Is it supposed to be dexterity? The, 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 when you want to grab a creature or wrestle with it, you can use the attack action to make a special me- melee attack a grapple. If you're able to take to make, make multiple attack with the attack action, this attack replaces one of them. The target of your grapple must be no more than one size larger than you, and it must be within your reach. Using at least one free hand, you try to seize the target by making a grapple check. A strength athletics. There we go. Strength athletics. Strength athletics. Athletics check. It's your strength. Uh huh. You don't have you don't have any. So proficient. you're not proficient with it. Mm-hmm. So just a plus one. Plus one. Mm. Don't I? Oh yeah, I'm not using my belt. That's why. You technically have one free hand. Oh, that was a nine. Fifteen. All right. You rush up. You rush up bravely. Instead of be cowering in fear, most people at the sight of the knife would cower in fear. But Jojo is doing the unthinkable and is rushing straight towards them. I the did crowd. This. The crowd is confused, but at the same time incredibly excited. To, no, no one knows what you're planning to do. And and even and looking at bo- both of the bullies, you can see that they're getting slightly uh, scared by you running straight for them. You run towards Ripper. Ripper, grab his free, grab his hand with the knife, and unexpectedly put him in the you, ground. And then yeah, you put him in the ground. With can I break his mis- hand now? Can I break his hand or is that another turn? Hmm? I mean, that was a 15. Uh, yeah, maybe another turn. If it was a 20, it would have been immediately a, 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 an arm break. So, Ripper falls down to the ground. Grab the other guys just try to hug me. And Tomboy's like, and Tomboy's like, oh shit. But mm, what is he doing? Is he trying to hug me or is he trying to punch me? Hmm? Uh, he flin he flinches and stops and and stops mid on his track. He he doesn't know what to do anymore now. Oh, it's my turn now, right? Hmm? No, it's still there's still Rip, Ripper. So, uh-huh. uh, you got you're gonna have to make another strength check, and he's gonna make another strength check as well to see if he can let, get get rid get go, let go. God, roll. A natural one. A twelve. <laughs> he tries to break free, but on his attempts to try to break free, uh, you got you hear a loud snap. He accidentally breaks his own bones trying to break free, and he's like, "Oh shit!" Now he's like, "Uh," and he's like. De- damage somewhat. 
What's, uh, what's the state for it again? He's grappled, but there's another state for when you... So, what is the arm or the hand? Is it her, his arm or only his hand? He's paralyzed. Or he's stunned. Oh. He can't move anymore. So... <laughs> and it's your turn again. What part? The, wait, the hand or the arm? He broke. He broke the arm. Oh. Can I broke? Uh, can I just? Can I? I'm gonna broke his arm in doing this. All right. You make another strength check with advantage. Plus one. Oh, advantage. Oh shit, baby. <laughs> God, uh, 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 eighteen. <laughs> it's a natural twenty. And then eighteen. So I just literally broke his hand now. Yep. Your your eyes sparkle and your sparkle and uh, rippers like oh no, bro! A loud crack followed by multiple uh, blood spurting out of his hand as his hand is literally fucking dislocated by the strength of your pull. This he screams in agony and he and his loot and his grip on the knife loosens. He I, I forgot my punch is on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the knife drops to the ground and he screams. Ah! I try to get uh I'm trying to get my pants. Alright. Knowing that he's no longer a threat, you go back and get your pants. Tom you already you by the look by, by look simply looking at Tomboy you already notice you already know that he it looked like he's accepted defeat and has no intention of fighting any further. Why I'm doing why I'm getting my na so pants. Yeah, you get your pants back, you turn around, then is he on the ground like like this? Yeah, both of them are like <laughs> I go uh, up Tom to Boy, him. Tomboy is like crouching at at at, at Ripper and Jack's unconscious and bloody. I go up to him. <laughs> and what I, are you gonna do to me? I did this. <laughs> you no, don't need to roll for it. Alright, so you walk right up to him. Tomboy's like, please, no. I knee his to the mercy. face. And then you do the fucking Falcon knee psh, and break his fucking jaw. Yeah. He Blood comes out of his mouth and he falls down as well. And the crowd cheers as you do, as you clean up your hands. Yo! Yes. Jojo, Jojo's a hero! Yes! Going to get expelled! <laughs> Come on! He's gonna definitely get expelled! Uh, uh, he kick. Uh, who's that guy again? Jack? Yeah. He kicked his Jack's stomach and he broke Reaper head and Tomboy just bro he just broke his jar! The crowd cheers for you as you walk away in style into wherever it is you wanted to go to. Now I go to I want to. You said you said I'm I'm running excitedly. Yeah, where were you going anyway? I want to see you. I'm trying to go to the home. All right. Looking, look, looking where at are your, we anyway. Looking in at your, in British. I don't know. Uh. I don't know. You're in Sword Coast. <laughs> Sword Coast. It's a it's a it's a location in fucking D and D. Oh wait, we're in Vast Gonia. Yeah. But you realize it's all, it's a little too late to hang out with your friends now. So instead, you just decide to go wait. back home. Wait. Uh, wait. 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 Before I go to home, I check his all them pocket and give him some money. All right. Oh, some money. You find a few pocket change, and there's also the pocket knife if you want it. I want a pocket knife. Sure. You can add the knife into your inventory. In, in equipment or inventory? Inventory. What's the inventory? Oh, equipment. Dagger is equipment. Uh, in the back is where you can list all of your money. We'll be calculating everything by gold because the other having other currency is fucking dumb. So where's All right. where's the wealth money? You find two gold points worth of cash. Saan? Sa kila guy. Hmm? In your items and notes, just write in G or peso or money somewhere and write down the number. That's what I would do. All right. 
you arrive late in the late in the afternoon. Then I saw reason. my mother died, and I saw, <laughs> and I tried to learn hamon. <laughs> All right, you're greeted. Oh, brother, my adopted brother. Mm. You're greeted by your mother, who doesn't have who doesn't have a very pleasant looking face right now. What? The school report has gone into my house before I arrive? Apparently. Jojo, are you okay? You have, br you have, your jaw looks damaged. How? You got uppercutted. Oh yeah. I heard, I overheard the children talking. There was a fight against the bullies. Now I just tried to eat a jawbreaker. Roll for deception. I have deception. I do have deception. I need lang kasi check. What the fuck? One check. One check. One check. Charisma. I have a 10. So my check also deception. So I have plus 2. Plus 1. Do I have plus 1 or plus 2? I have a check in my deception. Or plus 2. A nine. Well, I guess I gotta roll for insight. A seventeen. Mother immediately calls your bluff, and she's like, "No, I definitely heard. I definitely heard the students. Jojo, don't ever do such risky things again. It's dangerous. You could have gotten hurt. Right? You were lucky. Only your jaw was broken. The bullies are very dangerous. You could have been stabbed. You know. Wait a minute." <laughs> Ah! Boog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is that in your pockets? A knife and some and some copper coins. Did you take these from those bullies? No, I earned them. I I my pocket money I buy with a pocket knife so I can protect myself. Right? Even if it were from those ruffians. It, it's still stealing. Uh, not much I can do. For now, go eat your lunch, and once we're done eating, let us tend to the crops. Whoa, sorry, ta. So this is technically a short rest. You have three. You have three hit dice that you can use. Hmm. So if you want to recover health, I recover health. All right. This is a short rest. So short rest means you have to use a hit dice. Two. You, uh, just one hit dice. If you can, D4? No, D6 is your hit dice. Oh. If you can roll it I recover now. Yep, you, you're back to full health. And there goes the short rest. Alright. Morning, morning, morning. <laughs> How are you? With lunch done, mother asks for you. Considering it is Friday, now it is time for you to do your daily dosage of medicine. Helping the crop, helping te helping your mother tend to the crops. Okay, I help her, my mother. What? No, 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 no. I help a little bit, then I go to my friends. Ah, uh, all right. Do I have even friends? Apparently, I w guess. When do I have my adopted brother? Uh, soon. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you guys go both go outside. Hmm. I don't Looks have like a, there's going I don't to be, have my own Arena Pendleton. I don't know. Looks like there's going to be heavy rainfall t tonight. So that's per that's perfect. We need to tend to the crops and what and make sure they have all the proper nutrients. All right, go grab the fertilizer for me, Jojo. Fertilizer. It's that's not sexy one. It's just fucking bone meal. Oh, oh. Okay. They should be in the shed. So this is how you escape? You yeah. pretend to get the fertilizer? Uh huh, that's how I escape. Alright. You pretend to go to the shed, but once you go near to the sh you but once you get in the shed, you escape through the windows of the shed. And you're like, ha, ah, so long, sucker! <laughs> <laughs> I mean the finger them. As mom looks at you go to the shed, she's like, she's running away, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, so, 
you got you go you run straight for your usual meeting place with your two best friends the mm. park huh the oh, the park i thought two friends named the park <laughs> finally you arrive at the park the park always looks mellow and calm. What are you saying? Now I'm finally at the park. In the bask of the sunset. I thought in my perspective, it's like a visual novel. The park, then two characters showing us into the TV screen. Yeah, that's basically what happens. Alright, so these are two new characters. I literally didn't plan for you to have any friends. Mother and Luigi. Alright, you're two no, no, friends. No, 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 no. Jonathan and Joseph. Alright, you're two friends. Jonathan and Joseph. Two nerd guys. They're two nerd looking guys. Has sunglasses. Alright. They both have sunglasses and they're both nerds. Mm -hmm. Wait, nerds don't wear sunglasses, they wear normal glasses. Uh -huh, that's I mean normal glasses I mean. Yeah, just normal glasses. With then. backpacks. Yo, 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 it's our man Jojo. And the delicate is a weeaboo. Me, it's a weeaboo. Alright. Wait, I didn't think you would ever show up, show up, Jonathan said. And then Joseph returned. So meaning, so Joey is going to meet his two friends, meaning two buff guys. Yeah, and then Joseph t also talks. Oi, 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 Joseph. Uh, uh, Jojo, I heard, I heard, I heard. You went up against those bullies and brutally beat them up. That's really good. The yeah, children really like you now, but thanks to my new, thanks to your Blu-ray DVD new anime. Yeah, I'll, yeah, uh, guys. Karate Chupuden. <laughs> Naruto Chupuden. Right. So, are we going to my house again to watch some more anime then? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan talks as you guys head towards Joseph's home. Bruh, that's gonna be really bad. Once you go back, you you probably are gonna get into so much trouble with the school since you went into the fight. Don't worry, I wear a mask. I draw a mustache in my face. <laughs> I forgot I have a beard. Eh, uh, Jojo, you're, you're, you have a mustache already, though. Wouldn't the proper disguise would be to shave instead? But then you wouldn't, but then people won't recognize you as a proper member of the school. With how much delinquency you're doing, I'm surprised you still even go to school. I'm just going there so I can get, have a job. That's all students want to do. They need to finish high school to have a job. That's why I'm still going to school. Very true. You need to go to school other so that you can learn how to do the proper farming stuff. And you, you can do job now because you're finished high school. Anyway, you're skipping your farming work at you all the time, uh, along with the rest of us here too, right? So, what what are you what are you trying to accomplish what, when you grow up anyway? Jonathan uh, asks. I want to make my own anime. Eh, with all the fighting you're doing, I thought you would go and be an adventurer. There's an adventurers guild here, and you'd probably make a lot of cash escorting the people in night sky. Everyone said. I want to be a rot. If you want to be rich, you have to draw. <laughs> Wasn't your father an adventurer too? <sighs> from what I heard, he went off. His per he died from adventuring, right? She's just an old fart man who left us alone with my mother. Hmm. Anyway, let's go watch the latest episode. We're finally home. <laughs> You stayed. <laughs> you guys stayed home all the way, all, all the way until it was almost time for dinner. Just having fun watching anime and laughing at all the stupid animations and shit. So there's TV in this time, in in this universe. Yeah, there's anime, <laughs> and there's anime too. All right, they're magic. Uh, this is the magic vision. Instead of TV, instead of television, it's magic vision. vision. MV. Magic vision. And MV. Uh, the anime isn't on a CD. It's hey. on a scroll. Scroll and uh, 
the the Bronx is you. You need to put it in a soda can. <laughs> <laughs> And then it goes magic, magic, ver, 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 ver. And then magical images, animated images show up <laughs> in the magic vision. In the magic vision. Anyway, you hear a loud thunderstorm, a, a, a loud crack of thunder. And you look at the window and notice it's pretty late and you should be going home. In the rain. And, whoa, that's a pretty strong rain. Ma, ma, mom wasn't kidding. It really was going to be a heavy downpour. Damn, I should pay more attention to school. So I could pr predict weather like she does. Anyway, that's about you enough. You can predict weather now? Yeah, we should go home. You should go home, Jojo. It's been fun. Yeah, I had a lot of... We, ha we had some fun. So magic exists but I, in here. We should go home. Yeah, magic, science, technology, they're all here. So I'm learning Hamon. <laughs> <laughs> You rush, you rush home. No, I'm just a ordinary guy who doesn't have magic. Yeah, you're just an ordinary guy who doesn't, who has no magic. Uh, you, you, ha you're a natural born fighter, though. Anyway, you rush home. Uh, roll constitution to see if you get sick. You know, 20? you catch a cold. Yeah. Higher, I get a cold. Lower, you get a cold. Oh, oh from the rain. All right, you don't get a cold. You open the I door. have my own bike called Road Racer. <laughs> you go home. Oh, so you you guys travel you traveled back home with your bike. Uh huh. All right. And mine is a sport bike. All right. With your bike, you arrive back home in no time, just in time for dinner. Then I saw my adopted brother. Yo yes, God, you predicted it. <laughs> you I, open I, home I, I, and then it zooms in. To a, to a young man with blonde no. hair. When I'm opening the door, I see a young blonde boy. Ding! And then, and then fucking menacing, 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 <laughs> cir menacing. Cir circles around the screen. <laughs> I look around and say, You look at mother who's standing right next. Oh, standing right next. Mom, you're doing prostitution? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, pause. It's no prostitution! Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry for being interrupted once again, but we're back. Where were we? Alright. So, Jojo immediately accuses ma mother of prostitution, and, and, mom's and the mother's like, What the frick? <laughs> no, this is a. Uh, Allow me to introduce you to your new brother from now. From who will be our new brother from now on? Say hi to him. His name is Dio. Dio. <laughs> Dio. No, 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 no. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I, 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 Mario. What's right. that name? Turtle name again? Tortoga. Tortoga. All right, Tortoga is his name. He's blonde hair. He's about the same build as you. Only difference is that he has blonde hair. He has a blonde. He has the blonde hair. I forgot. Of I have blonde hair. Rich man, and he has a uh, red eye, red eye color. But other than that, he looks his same. He has the same body build as Jojo over here. But I have red and blue. Make red and blue, and red and blue makes violet. Oh. It was heavily raining, and he knocked on his door, seeking refuge. So for now, he's gonna be staying with us. Well, let me take briefcase. It's made of rocks, like Patrick. No, he he's he he's wearing some rugged clothes. He's a ho he's a hobo, and it looks like he doesn't have anywhere to stay. Poor kid, he's been living out on the street. You said that's so. my adopted brother now, right? Bundy. So I've decided we're adopting him. What? He's not even a dog. What? what does that have to do with dogs? Anyway, we're eating dinner right now. Since you skip, since you skip doing the farm work with me, you're I not having thing. any dinner. I did you're going this thing, to bed. and I said, "Kid, you're adopted." <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I I don't care. At least I finally have a family. At least. 
Anyway, thank you for the thank you for the meal, my new mother. Remember Hot Town? <laughs> Damn, Saint. that should have been the name of this town then. Remember Sacred Grove? Sacred Grove. Remember Mariana Trench? Remember Celestial Celestial? Remember the space? Remember Stead Hurt? Stick prison, stick town, Coliseum, the hell, Gorgias Ark, Forbidden Tower. Oh, then the tiny glass, mm -hmm. the other tower. Anyway, your mother doesn't want to give you dinner. She only cooked for two since she wasn't expecting her uh, Mario over here, then, Tortoga over here. Then I say Tortoga. You go up, you go upstairs, I'm gonna eat. Give me your lunch. You're adopted. And I'm your older brother, definitely. Uh, but mother goes all, all like, No, this is your punishment. This this kid here probably hasn't eaten for days now. And <laughs> lunch, lunch. Uh, the lunch, I don't know. They're having... Meat? No, nah, definitely farm. Nuggets? Definitely vegetables and fruits. Oh, fruits. Uh, talong? Uh, I mean, eggplant? Sure, why not? I took this eggplant and I put it in my mouth. Jojo! Ah, that's Jojo. He'll be your brother from now on. Uh, he's a little rough around the edges, but please treat him nicely. Is it Tortuga supposed to be mean? And I'm the mean one? I guess it's the opposite here. Hmm. It's okay. From my days as a hobo, I've been able to survive for eating for only once every month. For once every month, once a month only. I'm and, going. And to you eat river water. I'm going to bed. What's the matter, Jojo? Do you not like your brother? No, you're doing positive. Ah, no, 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 no! I didn't mean to say that. No, I don't want adopted brother. You might be pregnant. Well. For now, we're going to bed. Bye. Alright. On your way to bed, you overhear your mother and and Tortoga talking. Oh, fuck. God damn it. When you met with your friends, I was supposed to introduce a girl character so that you could have fucking girl fuck friend. Rina Pendleton? Yeah. And My Rina Pendleton? Yeah. Oh, well, next time na lang. In the next time. In the tomorrow or something. Uh, if I want to stop the station, All if right. I go to the station. Hmm? Hello. Hmm. Anyway, uh, before you could go to bed, you overhear uh, your mother as well as their target talking. Let us get rid of this tradition, my new mother. This tradition is dumb. Do you really I overheard? Such yeah. Such stupid things as vampires even exist. Yeah, I... Yeah, I... I, I slammed the door then I said, Shut up! Mom, you're doing... We're doing the tradition. Oh, are you finally deciding to set... To help me with, set up with the traditions? Yes, I have a bad feeling for this guy. What? Like an anime. I like can... I can do this with a fly. Oh. Oh. So Journal nice. is currently like fucking holding two pencils like a chopsticks and he's pretending <laughs> to catch flies with it. This is what Joey doing right now. Yep, and that's what Jojo is supposedly doing right now. <laughs> oh. Didn't you think the tradition was dumb and stupid too? I didn't say dumb. I said it's boring. Hmm. Do whatever you please. I'm going to bed. Together, before going to bed, you set up all the traps and vampire shit. I grab your... garlic. I grab garlic. <laughs> you throw garlic towards your brother, and he and he goes like, "Ow, that was uncalled for." Is this to spite me just for doing something that makes sense? No, uh, I was only playing ball and I... I accidentally threw it to you. Very well. 
since tomorrow is the weekend anyway, let us play ball tomorrow. <laughs> okay, instead of in JoJo, they use they do boxing, but here we're playing ball. <laughs> Stop comparing this to Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Jojo. Remember, guys. <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. it is now the night, and you guys have finally fallen asleep. As you are go, as you guys are falling asleep. But before we end this uh, campaign, this is what happens. Everyone's. It is the night, and faint, tr faint sounds. A flapping wings can be heard. I said flapping wings. <laughs> it seems that all the houses, except for our house, for some reason, have su have suddenly stopped the tradition and have not set up any traps. While you, while you, while the Johnson family was resting peacefully, the other houses wouldn't be too peaceful. A footstep. And an appro approaching person in shadows suddenly approaches the town. It walks up to a house and a loud scream wakes you up. A, a wild scream? A, a loud scream of, oh. a, of a woman. And then... Uh, Anything? Yeah. What? Yeah, Mete! And then, psh, loud, loud Gushing, gore, loud blood. gore sound. Gore? Dear God, what could that ever possibly have been? But, <laughs> following those sounds, yet another footstep. You guys can't hear this because this is like far away from the house. Uh -huh. And then even more footsteps. And then even more flapping wings. And then finally, a crack of a whip. Those were the well, those were the la those were the last sounds. Curiously and restlessly. You head outside and you see You'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> Man, I'm such a genius. I'm throwing a gun at my adult big brother. <laughs> I just throw a gun at my adult big brother. <laughs> He's not a vampire. Oh. After after my mommy died to them, I'm throwing my humanity, Joey Jackson. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Where's my two brother then? I don't know.